Cedar Fair has released a flurry of announcements across the chain, including multiple new roller coasters to be ready for the start of the 2023 season. As announcement season ramps up, this is a major marker, and while it isn't the biggest year for the chain, let's dive in and talk about all the things that are coming to Cedar Fair in 2023. So let's start up north at Canada's Wonderland. The park announced a pair of additions. The first is a new thrilling flat ride, Tundra Twister, at 154 feet tall, swinging gondola style attraction. This is a world's first and furthest attraction model. It'll hit speeds of 46 miles per hour, guests are flung around. Now the other addition is a new launched family roller coaster. Snoopy's Racing Railway will be the park's 18th coaster and will top out at 31 miles per hour. Now this is a big addition for a park that kind of needed some more intermediate coasters for kids and they continue to boost one of the best collections of flat rides in the world. Next up is Carowinds. Now the park announced they would be debuting a new themed area named Aeronautica in honor of the park's 50th season. Now the new area will be around the existing Afterburn coaster and themed to the state's long history of aviation. Included in this renovation are multiple new themed flat rides, new dining options, and other exciting upgrades. Now this is the first re-theme of this style in the park since 2017. It's a welcomed addition to an area of the park that was becoming a little bit forgotten. Then there's Cedar Point. Now rumors have been swirling about what could be coming to the Wicked Twister area and now we finally have the answer. 2023 will debut an entirely revamped boardwalk section of the park, modeled to bring back the nostalgic days of old. Now the new location will have multiple new flat rides or relocated flat rides, a beautiful new beach pavilion, and the park's 18th roller coaster will debut. Zimperla is bringing in their first ever Twister Freeform spinning coaster. Called Wild Mouse, set to honor the former and popular coaster model, it has about 1,300 feet of track, will hit a height of 51 feet and 35 miles per hour. Now these are very similar stats to a ride like Laugh Tracks at Hershey Park if you want to compare it to anything. Now overall, the area should be a beautiful look and the coaster will be another needed family attraction to the park, with a rare experience for the park. Now my only concern to this area is that the capacity of the roller coaster will be an issue with the crowds. Normally these rides draw very long lines. Then heading west to Knott's Berry Farm, the park has unveiled their new renovation as well. As we have known for some time, Montezuma's Revenge is undergoing a major overhaul, but the entire Fiesta Village will also be getting a touch-up. Included will be new dining options, a renovated stage, and a revamped marketplace. Now the park is describing the area as being split into three new zones with slightly different theming and it should be pretty impressive. Now the coaster is also getting a new twist. It will be receiving major theming updates and will now feature a randomly selected either forward or backwards launch. This will keep riders guessing with every ride and should be different every time. Now, it should be an awesome way to revamp a classic and keep it fun for generations to come. California's Great America has also been in the news lately for more annoying reasons, but they will also be getting a few new additions. They'll be getting a new lineup of shows, expanded to the peanut area, and even a few new flat rides for the park. So good for them for adding something, even though they've been known to be closing now in a couple of years. Finally, the biggest announcement of the day comes from Worlds of Fun. In 2023, the park will open their 8th roller coaster in first in 14 years. GCI is coming in to build the world's first ground-up Titan Track hybrid roller coaster. This family-style ride will work into the terrain of the park, and it's themed as a spiritual successor to Zambezi Zinger, even sharing the name. Now, that was a steel coaster from Schwarzkopf, and it featured an iconic spiral lift hill. GCI is recreating a spiral lift on this coaster, as well as reaching heights of 74 feet, speeds of 45 miles an hour, and it will traverse 2,482 feet of track. Now the ride height and speed are nearly identical to Invader at Busch Gardens, so look for a somewhat similar ride experience, although this will be a little bit longer and use the terrain to its advantage. Now I can't tell you how excited I am to see Worlds of Fun getting a pretty major addition and a unique one at that. I'm just really hoping that this means the other neglected parks may get something soon, like Valley Fair or Dorney. We'll really see they're next in line for something new soon, hopefully. Now with more announcements in the pipeline, such as Dollywood, look out for more rundowns like this, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any content here from the shores of Island Coasters.